Lesson 8. Differentiation from first principles using the delta method. Now you remember earlier in lesson 3, I believe, uh, we differentiated from first principles using function notation. Here we're going to use a different notation because we'll need this notation to explain the next rules which, which we'll be following. Now, very similarly, we'll, we'll start off with the gradient of the secant, pq. So the gradient of the secant, pq, is simply the difference in the y values. And this is y plus delta y and x plus delta x, where delta x is a little bit of x and delta y is a little bit of y moved along. So we're going to say that's going to be y plus delta y minus y over x plus delta x minus x and this simply becomes delta y on delta x and this is often referred to as a change in y over the change in x as p move, moves to q be a change in x over a change in y now because the point at y plus delta y and x plus delta x lies on this particular function we'll replace the y with y plus delta y so we'll have y plus delta y is equal to x plus delta x all squared plus one removing the brackets here we get x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x all squared plus 1. Now we know that y is x squared plus 1 so we replace this y with x squared plus 1 plus delta y and now what will happen is we can just simply cancel out these ones we can cancel that to 1 and we get the delta y is equal to 2x delta x plus delta x all squared now we'll divide through by delta x and we get that equal to being 2x plus delta x. Now the gradient of the tangent will be equal to the limit as delta x goes towards zero as this moves in this direction here of 2x plus delta x and that is equal to 2x. Now remember before we said that f dash x was equal to this. Well, the notation used here is that we change the delta y on delta x to dy over dx is equal to 2x. And that's the gradient of the tangent. That's what the gradient of the tangent is, dy over dx. And we'll be using this notation later on. Now also, if you've got a point here, say this point might be the point um, 2, 5 as before. We simply put in 2 for x and we get that dy dx is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4. That is the gradient of the tangent at the point phi. And that's the same as f dash x. Same thing exactly, just a different way of expressing the same thing.